Now that I've walked off of the trail and set up, I can actually set myself up pretty easy for a really great test um, called the hand shear. Now the hand shear isn't an incredible stability test to rate stability, but what it does is it does a really good job of showing you layers in the snowpack and it doesn't take very much time. So what I do is I just walk off of the trail and here I'm actually worried about a slope that's up in front of me on a similar aspect. So I've set up on the same aspect that I'm worried about the hazard. And I've clicked out across and I've made a wall and I make the first wall with my skis. And as we can see, I've already gone down about 40 or 50 centimeters. This tells me a lot already as I'm doing this. And then I just take my pole and I'm gonna make a wall Nice smooth wall with my two poles, just like that. So now I've got the wall and I'm actually just gonna have a look and brush it off and see what's going on in the snowpack. And I can tell that there's a significant crust layer. It appears to be down about 40 or 50 centimeters. So I already have some information on the snowpack. Then I'm gonna take my single one pole and I'm gonna make a 30 by 30 block that will be similar to your compression test. So I go about 30 deep and then I go about 30 wide. And when you're first learning this, you just measure it out so you get your block nice and good dimensions. It doesn't have to be exact. So now I've got my second wall and the trick is you wanna be down a little bit below, at least 10 centimeters below any layers you're worried about in the snowpack. So here, my primary layer of concern is this crust and there's a surface hoard layer up above the crust. So now I've got my two walls, I'm gonna shovel or saw out the back with my pole. And then what I'm gonna do is just make enough room so my hand can easily slide down the back. And I'm just gonna put my hand down the back and I'm gonna pry gently. And what I'm looking for here is I'm really just feeling the snow with my hand, seeing if I feel any slab, any density changes. And we're looking for sudden cracks that cross across the column. And then we'll have a look and see if there's any large crystal grains. This test takes a while to develop, but you can do tons of them. And the more you do, the more you can start to get a sense of what's going on with the snow. On any given route up, I could do four or five hand shears and just continuously do them throughout the day. Now I'm just taking my hand and I'm prying gently on the back and I'm kind of moving my hand up and down. There, I got a really quite easy crack and it cracked suddenly across the column. Now I'm just gonna take this layer and I've actually seen there's two breaks now in it and I can look on where it broke and the upper break actually isn't clean, but the most important thing here is with my naked eye, I can see large surface hoar. So already I know that there is a large surface hoar layer and two cracks. One of them is on top of the crust down here and the other one is five to 10 centimeters above, which is where this surface hoar layer is today. So now I've noted that there are two layers in the snowpack. Pretty tricky to tell if there's gonna be an avalanche issue with just this test, but it's showing me the layers and I've looked and I can take my screen out and my loop and check what crystals are going on on these layers.